Hi, I'm Anna Maria Motorescu Mace. I'm an affiliate lecturer and research associate at the Center of South Asian Studies here at Cambridge. I'm a visual theorist and for more than a decade I've been working with Imperial Visual Records with a particular interest in British and South Asian colonial films and photographs. In 2007 I started working extensively with the unique collection of colonial amateur films from South Asia that the Centre has and gradually I have been incorporating in my research the photographs. Uh, the Centre has an amazing collection of photographs, over 150,000 photographs. So, in this context, in 2011, I designed and started teaching here in Cambridge a course on visual rhetoric and modern South Asian history. And I'm working with a large uh, network, if you want, of academics, South Asianists from Britain and from India, and particularly with those who are interested, like me, in developing new methodologies for researching, learning and teaching modern South Asian history. I know from my own experience that the best way to advance one's research, to nuance it, to strengthen it, is to work with the best people in the field, to discuss new ideas, to tap into pioneering projects, to think out of the box. So I was wondering how do I get the network into which I have my own research integrated to come and talk, to, to meet. So I went to Professor Marcus Banks, who is a well-known visual anthropologist and also the director of the Institute of Social and Cultural Anthropology at the University of Oxford, to invite him to join us, the Centre of South Asian Studies here, in organising the first international conference on exactly this theme, exploring modern South Asian history with visual research methods. And Professor Banks and I, we thought about what would be the core of the conference, rather than just inviting people to give papers on a, on a general theme. We decided that it would be best if those both invited and also selected through the call of papers would discuss the research issues they have when being challenged or challenging methodologies in terms of theoretical work and practice-based frameworks that they experience at the moment. We were delighted to get prompt funding from CRASH, from the Smuts Memorial Fund, from Triplo Charitable Trust, and we are also thrilled to see that shortly after we announced our call for papers, we started receiving a large number of very good high academic standard submissions. And these two crucial feedbacks made us realize that our project for this conference came at the right time and it's fitting nicely within a dynamic context of this interdisciplinary research platform in which historians, visual anthropologists, artists and scholars of visual culture would like to develop their own work. Professor Banks and I, in designing this conference, we understood that there should be three key objectives at the core of it, and we knew which these were from the very beginning. The first objective is literally to explore how modern South Asian history can be nuanced, if you want, reinterpreted by the use of visual research methods. The second objective is to discuss the ways in which historians, visual anthropologists, artists can efficiently integrate visual records of South Asia within their own work, whether it's research or practice-based um, artwork. The third and last objective, which we, we, we consider is very important, is to assess if this is possible at all, but to try to assess what is the role of this interdisciplinary research platform formed by historians, as I said, historians, anthropologists, cultural and social studies scholars? What is the role of this research platform in producing, distributing, reinterpreting visual records of South Asian history and culture to a wider academic and public audience? Most importantly, because we are looking at visual records per se, it made perfect sense to invite some of the key visual artists um, from South Asia who are doing exactly this, who are using, using and creating visual records as a way of reinterpreting or reassessing um, South Asian history. And we are absolutely thrilled that Pushpamala N, who used to, a few years ago, have a full house at such a gallery with her artwork, uh, has agreed to come and, and give a 
full one-hour presentation of her most recent work. The same goes for Rashka Malkachlon. She uh, created in 2011 a um, series of, of artworks called Double Take, which is, which is astonishing. And Aisha Abraham, who's working with home movies, um, she will be coming as well and presenting at, at the conference. So overall, the conference is perhaps not your usual conference with just panels and papers. People will be coming from different walks of research um, platforms, if you want. So um, we are looking forward to it. This conference is meant to highlight and strengthen the network of historians, visual anthropologists, postgraduate history students, uh, cultural anthropologists, scholars of visual culture um, and artists who will be spending two days discussing, experimenting with their own research ideas and presenting their most recent work under this umbrella of can we literally explore modern South Asian history with visual research methods. The final program of the conference includes papers that announce a vibrant, engaging event with two keynote addresses by Chris Pini and Marcus Banks and with papers by Dennis Vidal, Claire Harris, Ravi Basudevan, Susan Asman and also, we, we thought it was very important to include pioneering research done by postgraduate students and junior lecturers, such as, for example, Sanjukta Sundarasan from Leiden University, who would be looking at an anxious aesthetic, rethinking progressive art and left-wing cultural movement in India. Then Natasha Suresh Rajeha from New York University, who will be having a twist research on the work of Christoph von Führer Heimendorf, Natalia Di Pietrantonio from Cornell University, who will be looking at courtesan imagery in the early modern subcontinent, and Elisabeth Ayob from University of London, who will be discussing a paper titled Beyond the Documentary End of History, Archives, Advertisements, Images, and the Social, Cultural, Everyday History of Pakistan from 1947 to 1962. This conference is intended as a timely and robust opportunity to advance and strengthen the interdisciplinary research platform for historians, anthropologists, scholars of visual culture and digital humanities concerned with modern South Asian history. Moreover, we hope that this event will ultimately prove that applying visual research methods to historiographical traditions could ultimately contribute to new perspectives on modern South Asian traumas around race, identity and gender.